Hey guys, welcome to Battles Gaming and to another episode of my Far Cry 5 custom map series. This is actually part 2 of my Palmy Pyramids 2 map. Part 1 was where I showed you guys a breakdown of my map from the design to the construction and you guys can check out part 1, I'll put it in the video description. But part two is going to be me showing you guys gameplay of the map in action. It is a multiplayer map for those of you that don't know, a deathmatch map to be specific. And it is available on the Xbox One. This is an Egyptian style uh, desert map. And uh, basically today I'm going to be taking you guys through a short reflection of what I thought of this map. And some tips and tricks that you guys can employ if you do happen to play this map and you want to get to the top of the leaderboard. So first off, right off the bat, I will say that this map is super fun, super fast paced and frantic. And a lot of people have told me that the learning curve of this map is pretty easy to learn in terms of understanding the layout. Someone told me that in his first game he was able to understand where everything was within like the first 30 seconds or within the first minute of the game and uh, he actually beat me in the first time that I played this map with him although that was several months ago so I'm not going to talk about that loss too much uh, but what I'm going to do now is I'm basically going to be telling you guys some tips and tricks that you guys can employ if you are to play this map and I do apologize if you guys can hear the fan in the background. My MacBook is getting particularly loud, probably because I've been on iMovie for a little bit of time now. So if you guys do happen to hear some background noise, I do apologize for that in advance. But hopefully it won't hinder the audio quality as much as I can hear it right now. So what we have is, yeah, we have this deathmatch map set in Egypt. And... Uh, I guess one of the first tips I, I guess I can give you guys is to use either the AK-47 or MT-49 class. They pack the most punch as they have the most firepower, they're very accurate guns and considering most of the engagements on this map are, well actually there's quite a lot of different engagements on this map, there's everything from short to long. But I find that the AK-47 and MT-49 are both very versatile guns that a lot of different distances so you're going to be able to perform quite well as you guys can see I'm already on seven kills inside the first uh, what's that uh, two minutes of the game so I'm definitely on track to uh, you know finish on the top of the leaderboard as it currently stands now one thing you guys were seeing at the start of the gameplay was me spawning at the top of the pyramid. The pyramid is a great vantage point over the entire map. You can definitely do some reconnaissance up there and see where everybody is hiding because it's such a high stature, well such a high structure you can pretty much see everything from up there. But I don't recommend you guys stay there for the whole duration of the game. Like lots of multiplayer maps across a lot of different games if you spend too much time in the one place you're probably not going to be able to get that many kills and there's no exception with the pyramid either if you stay up there for too long one you're going to be a massive target for everyone because whilst you can see everyone up there everyone can see you up there and number two if you stay there for too long you're probably not going to be able to pick off too many people Whilst there definitely is a height advantage associated with being uh, on top of a structure that's a lot taller than everything else in the map, if you know your aim is a little bit off, people are probably going to have an easier time picking you off rather than you picking them off. And the reason I say that is because most players will naturally fire their gun with the recoil upwards, and in Far Cry 5, a one shot to the head, a headshot basically, is a kill, so you only have to shoot someone in the head with one bullet and they'll die immediately so you might not want to uh, sorry you might not want to spend too much time up on the pyramid but it's still a, an amazing structure to climb and it definitely adds a lot of versatility to the map uh, not so much versatility I meant verticality I'm confusing my words here um, but you know if you saw a pyramid on a map you're probably going to want to climb it just like in Assassin's Creed Origins when everyone saw the gameplay of that map uh, where you could climb the pyramid as the assassin, as Bayek. Uh, 
everyone wanted the game just so that they could climb the pyramid. I mean, that's what I bought the game for. <laughs> Not really. I love Assassin's Creed, so that's why I bought the game, but climbing pyramids is also a pretty cool thing. Moving on to the next tip, and that is that the marketplace is definitely the most popular part of the map. So if you're looking for some kills, definitely come to the marketplace. I just zoomed through it there. And uh, it's just outside this fortress structure that I implemented, which doesn't really serve as, well, it, it definitely is part of the playable zone, no doubt, but it serves more of a spawn point than as an area that many people come to. I only go there because I know that there are spawn points there and that there is probably people lurking around ready to be killed. <laughs> wow, that was a nice way to put it. Uh, but yeah, if you're definitely looking for a, I guess you could say choke point, I definitely, uh, I definitely recommend you guys invest your time into the marketplace because uh, I assume that most people go there because of the structures that are present there. It definitely has the most structures, the most houses, and naturally people are going to be drawn to cover because the more cover you have, the less likely you are to be killed. Moving on to the next tip or trick, I guess you could say. Well, you've got to watch out. Your, well, you've got to watch out for people trying to kill you with a shovel. <laughs> uh, but just quickly, a special shout out to CM Smither who helped me get this lobby going. I had said that I would give him a shout out in the video, so uh, here you are, CM Smither. Thank you very much. He's also a subscriber, so thank you very much for your support of this channel. Uh, but moving on to the next tip. And that is probably that the left side, so the side that I'm running to now from where my camera was facing, is more popular than the other side that I'm running towards now. And I think that's because of the pyramid structure. As I said earlier, people are drawn to the pyramid structure because of its obviously distinctive, uh, I guess, distinctive, unique feature that adds to the map. Uh, and on this side of the map, you know, you're just more connected to the map because there's a lot more spawn points. Uh, there's a lot more areas that you guys can sort of traverse around. Uh, so yeah, definitely those are probably the hot zones, the market area, and the side closest to the pyramid. Anyways, I'm not sure I have any more tips and tricks for you guys now. But now I'm going to be showing you guys another gameplay. This gameplay isn't as good. I mean, I did manage to get to the 20 kill count, but a lot of people started leaving uh, during the match. I think that was purely because uh, the people in this lobby, they had already played this map a few games back. And what I've realized with Far Cry 5 is if you play the same map within, you know, a few games of each other a lot of people start to leave because they think that you're gonna just play this map over and over again and i can kind of respect that i have joint lobbies in the past where this person just plays the one map over and over again and it does drive me a little bit insane uh so i definitely respect people's choice to leave the game because they thought that i was probably gonna replay this map over and over again but i figured that because at this time i had a lobby of nine people it was only going to get better from there, and I wanted to record another gameplay just in case, just to show you guys a little bit more variety and gun gameplay by using the LMG this time. Although that idea completely backfired on me and people started leaving. This second gameplay probably isn't also as good because it was pretty one-sided. Uh, I guess as the creator, you know your map inside out, so you're probably going to do uh, generally better than most people. And most of the people in this lobby were new people to this map. None of the people in this lobby was people I knew. In the previous gameplay, I knew CM Smither, uh, but that was about all as well. So me and him pretty much went one and two on top of the leaderboard. Uh, but anyway, in the second gameplay, I'm just showing you guys a little bit more variety with the gameplay and also using a different gun this time for most of the gameplay. Uh... But for the rest of the video, I'm going to end the commentary and allow you guys to enjoy the rest of the gameplay in peace. If you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe and like the video. And uh, if you guys have any ideas, if you guys want to share any thoughts, uh, please don't hesitate to leave them down in the comment section below. 
and I will endeavor to get back to you guys as soon as possible. But anyway guys, thank you guys for uh, uh, watching the video. Uh, if you guys want more Far Cry 5 content, once again subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon as you'll be the first to be notified of new videos that I make. I've got a lot more videos planned for the rest of October, so uh, definitely make sure you stick around. But without any further ado, see you guys in the next video, and remember to have yourselves a great day. Get back to the fight. Close to victory. Uh. 